Do you think Beast Root is OP as people thought it would be? Um, it looks like a good deck. I I think Beast Root is very strong now. I've seen it been playing played a lot of High Legend. I don't know if there's a standardized list at the moment since it's so new, but it does seem like the Beast Druid Shell has a strong core. I don't feel like people consider OP, but it's a good deck. My win rate was 3 and 1 with this version. I did something like 50% before this version. My latest version of Mage right now has the Avian Watchers and Four Secrets. It's a good place to start. Since it seems very easy for me to add Medivh's Valet. I already have Battlecry Shell, and Medivh's Valet is another strong Battlecry card. Probably better curve out. I don't stop as Houndmaster, but I feel semi okay against Houndmaster at the moment. Explosion Frostbolt allows me to clear this entire board. It's like fairly expensive. Can't really do brand babbling book, that's way too weak. Well, the, the only other play is um, a Doomsayer play. I could do, do like trade Ping Doomsayer. That's better if it works. Like fairly high chance of working, mostly kill command. Then I don't get to deal with um, Leok, which is a big problem. I, I kind of like this. Okay, so this is like best case scenario for me by this turn. You get to equip the weapon, but that's not as scary as playing minion. I have time now. Wow. That's a lot of ice blocks. I mean, another move I could have done is ice block babbling or just ice block ping to set up for the watcher, but Come this has some center, uh, tension with Brand. He needs to kill this Brand. Hard for him to play coin high main with Brand up. It should be better for me to save the spells that um, are from the babbling book and play the secrets from hand. Actually, I'm not sure. Secrets is a kind of an exception, right? You might be playing around different things. But this way he doesn't know whether what I have. Frostwind Doomsayer sounds nice. This is for... Seven, this is okay. I could play Avian Watcher here. The end is coming. No snipe. So what is the secret? So then probably freezing it snake bear explosive. If it's not snipe. I feel snipe I would probably have the Frostbolt's face to freeze this weapon. Exactly what I was hoping to get. 
Also, it's expensive for him to use bow because it's three secrets. He wants to, you know, snowball his bow, but it's hard for him not to leave my guy up. Such big teeth I am. I'm not gonna attack, it's just he gets so many charges of bow. I'll wait for a better spot. Wow, Avian Watcher. <laughs> Four ice blocks in one game. You want it? Just try to get this camera spell down, call the wild I can maybe get. Maybe start attacking next turn. I can also get a quick shot if it runs out of cards. I should play, I, I should attack. Could be Freezing Trap, and I can replay that for another secret as well. Pretty likely it's Freezing Trap, actually. Guess not, but still is very likely, I think. Oh, it is. Check for Bear Trap? It is Bear Trap, huh? It's fine, we can race at this point. Kind of nice for me to go aggressive because he can only attack so fast, and this is a turn I procked all the secrets. Ultimately, when it comes down to it, I can spam four ice blocks in a row. If I die, I can just play one every turn, but that's just the cards I was dealt. Got a bunch of ice blocks. Begin. I'm kind of surprised how well the secrets are working as a replacement for Reno, which is actually really good news since once Medea's Valet comes at you, you definitely want to run secrets instead of Reno. Like, there's not enough Babbling Book type cards for you to run Reno. If there are other Babbling Book type cards, you could just run Babbling Book, like in uh, other one drops. It's just there's nothing similar to that. And the card is really good for this deck. It gives you a strong one drop, or it gives you something to do in turn one. And it's going to be a good top deck all game long. A lot of synergy with Brand too. <laughs> Runic Egg. Runic Egg is actually just nothing right for this deck. Hmm. So I think this comes down to Frost will hear power here or Elise. I don't like Blood Mage Frostable because the last one to trade into Blood Mage proccing his guy. The problem with Elise is he can trade this and a Eagle Horn Bow, and then like I don't really want Grandmother to proc at the moment, since then it's doing much more damage every turn. Also, if I play Blood Mage and Frostable he trades in, I'm playing Conjure next turn very likely, and then he has perfect three two to trade in my Conjure. Kind of weak to Houndmaster, kind of, but I guess every move is kind of weak to Houndmaster. Uh, Mouse Wiz, thanks for resubbing. Eight months. Welcome back to the Strife Crew. Crowfist. Alright, let's play this for the Discover. Good 
Can I do Big Bizzle? Like pink? Pink colored? Ooh, this one's good. It's like a bubble gum. Tutti Frutti. Makes sense though. I'm taking block. I have other stuff to do on turn 7, like Flame Strike. I, I think I just need that block with Alex Straza. I don't really like Elise because again, he can just try the huge toad in both the one ones, proccing his guy. I, let the dogs out. I don't have Flame Strike till turn 7. So if he procs his guy, I'm, I'm taking so much damage. Even though it like, makes it easier to Flame Strike. I cannot do that. No, I almost misclicked. That was dangerous. I might just have to. I actually think I had to clear here. I mean, I mean, not clear, but flame strike. Ah, that's a good draw. Could do it two turns in a row. That leaves me with no play for Call of the Wild. But at this point, I don't really have a choice. At least this survives. So that's good. Might, might save me some damage if he has to trade into it. I can also top deck more and more flame strikes. Well, actually, these flame strikes are both from my deck. I don't have any more in my deck. Blizzard would be good. That can save flame strike. Do I play two Doomsayers here? I don't even have time to play Doomsayer after this turn, and it does play around Deadly Shot and uh, kill, not kill coming, Deadly Shot mostly. Interesting. I think it's unlikely to die. Hmm. I think with Flame Strike it makes sense because even if he kills, I can Flame Strike, and I can even play Flame Strike and this Doomsayer next turn for tempo. So like say deli shots here, I can flame strike, then just play this out on empty board, so I could probably get a free turn. I'm not exactly sure I'm gonna do this though. So low. Like do I play Alex if this goes off on myself or him? What? So many options here. And I have to think about Call of the Wild too. Call of the Wild does not pop my block. I can play another minion. I mean, Alex doesn't do good against Call of the Wild if Alex's face or my face. If Alex draws a him, he can Call of the Wild hit me low, then I flame strike, hit him to seven. That seems like still a win, but. Perhaps. Might be better for me to just AI at least. AI, AI first, I don't want the monkey. So he has two. Like, he never pops block with Call of the Wild. If he pops block with Burn, I can Alex draws him myself. If he just Call of the Wilds, uh, I can always Flame Strike and then Alex draws his turn after. He'll never pop my block with Call of the Wild here. So, like, if he Call of the Wild's face, I can Flame Strike, go face. If he Call of the Wild trades, same thing, I can Flame Strike. And then I'll, I'll still be able to play Alex next turn since he won't get my block. Any kind of thing, any kind of move that gets my block won't develop a board, so then I can easily, instead of Flame Strike, Alex draws a. I, I'm, I'm not, technically, I'm not sure if this is better than Alex draws him in the face. I don't think it's good to Alex draws myself in the face. I think that's never the right play. I probably narrowed that down, but. What? All burned. This should be easy. I guess this turn's pretty easy, just rag and save Alex draws for healing. It doesn't make sense for an Alex Traza offensively. Wait, does it? If it's a guaranteed win, I should go for it. 15, 12, 11. Then I have one fireball. It's still not guaranteed. I give him to 11. It's weird. What if his hand is like kill? What if his hand is unleash kill command or something like that? Freezing trap? I can use this bait freezing trap. Hit him. I think it's almost guaranteed win. 
I'm not sure. I just feel like this is guaranteed win. Uh, got a 387, 378 donation from Sickness by Bears. Hey Strife, Reyna, I bitch about Yogg-Saron. What are your thoughts? Um... I mean, at this point, like, there's so many cards that are like that. I, I don't know. I mean, Yogg is... I have issues with Yogg, but I have issues with... I don't know, like, I kind of don't have... I, I kind of have issues with Yogg, but it's not, like, completely... I don't even know what, what to think about it. Probably Flame Strike, Doomsayer. Perhaps. I really don't like Frost or Doomsayer because Fire Back can kill me. Actually, the more I think about it, if I play Flame Strike, then he top decks Call the Wall, I can lose. Um, I actually see a better move. This is. I just have to. Um, Kill this. Oh no, I messed up. Well, I don't know, it shouldn't be a big deal, but Frost and a Doomsayer now. Or this. This actually looks better. Put this apple on your head. Now I need to ping the fire the bat so I don't die to the ice to the Doomsayer in my turn. I could Alex Straza him to 15, ping 14, 10, then I have exact lethal. It's a guaranteed win. Looks really weird, but... Uh, they got a five donation by Sickness by Bears. Forgot exchange rate, keep up the good streaming. Thanks for donation, Sickness by Bears. I have 10 points of burn in my hand, so I went for this play. I, I win. I win against everything that's not like flare, pretty much. Actually, technically, it doesn't kill me if he has flare. I have three life, I believe, and, and a big enough taunt. Wait, no, flare draws him a card. Flare will probably kill me. I don't know. I mean, 